Kitty Lomprecht and I'm your physiotherapist. Um, it's an interesting way to meet like this, but at least this way um, you'll know what I look like behind my mask. Um, so it is the evening before your operation. You are going to have a neck operation. Um, and this video is just some information um, to um, give you about what to expect and also um, you know how our program um, is going to progress and why. Um, so the first important thing to understand is that in our back and especially our necks, um, movement takes place um, on over two columns. So the front column, which are your discs, that is like a shock absorber. Um, so movement takes place, but it also um, helps to absorb the shock, um, for instance, if we walk. And then the back column, um, which is your facet joints, and those joints um, guide movement, um, but also limit movement. Um, so the disc um, in between your vertebrae is like a balloon with jelly in it. So it's got a soft center, and then it's got different ligament layers that keep that soft center in place. Um, because it's got a soft center, it's got pressure like your blood pressure and it does more or less what blood pressure do, do. So when we do certain activities, um, we push the pressure up in the disc and gradually the ligament layer can tear and that center then comes out and sits in the canal where the nerve is running. And that is why your arm is so sore. Um, what Dr. Lamprecht is going to do is he's going in from the front and then he's going to take the whole disc out. So he clears it out nicely and make sure that the canal is then nice and clean. To keep the space, um, he's going to put a small spacer in um, that he packs with bone. So the bone, um, in time, that will help the two vertebrae to grow together. But because the spacer is there, the space will be maintained and also the posture of your neck. Um, when I bring your home back and your home program, I'm going to explain this again and I'll show you some pictures so that you have a clear idea. But what is important to understand is that fusion happens over time. So um, when you wake up, you don't wear a neck brace. Um, and it's not necessary because your neck is not unstable, but the movement of your neck will help um, the forming of the bone so will help the fusion to form so that is why we encourage neck movement um, it's also important to understand that because there's still movement um, over the back column um, that is the advantage of this type of operation so we have numerous rugby players that play competitive rugby um, with these things in their neck so um, they're very stable but the fact that there's still movement um, helps to protect the other discs. Um, and that helps the longevity then of this type of operation. So when you wake up in high care, the first thing that most people notice is that their arm is so much better. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the moment that they want to swallow, um, they realize that swallowing is quite painful. Um, the best thing for that is ice, um, so cold things. So don't just drink cold water, but take some ice blocks. Um, and then um, what is important for mo a lot of people, they can't lie on their back or sleep on their back. You don't have to lie like a mummy. You can move, um, you can turn on your side um, and you can move your neck. Um, we encourage people to move their neck within the limits of pain. So whatever your pain allows you to do, that you can do. You can sit up, uh, you can lie on your side. Um, so one doesn't need to really be afraid to move at all. Um, you can move your legs. There's going to be um, something around your calf that pumps up and down. It's very important that they do. Um, if they don't, please notify the staff. Um, that helps with circulation. 
Um, and then um, the next morning, first thing, I'm going to come and see you. We're going to get up. Um, and um, from there on, you're mobile. So um, I hope this information um, helps a little bit. I hope you have a good evening. Um, remember, please, to wash for those pink stuff they've given you and not to eat from about 12 o'clock. Um, and then I'm looking forward to see you soon.